Hello, and welcome to another episode of Encore TV. I'm Ashley Gano, owner of AB Occasion Design for Encore Event Design, and today Madison and I are here to talk about wedding and event planning. Madison is my right-hand lady, and the two of us will be on site if you book our day of coordination, partial planning, full planning, or any of our event setup, teardown, or anything else you may need in regards to your event planning needs. So I'll go ahead and let Madison introduce herself. Hi, Madison. Thank you for joining us today on Encore TV. Thank you for having me. <laughs> I'm really excited. Madison has worked um, with me for many years. Mm -hmm. um, she is my assistant, full-time assistant, and she has a great, great experience. So Madison, if you want to tell us a little bit about your experience in the wedding planning industry. Mm -hmm. So I'm Madison, and... From the earliest age, I feel like I have been meant to be a wedding planner. I wasn't the typical kid. My parents would take me and my brothers and sisters to Barnes and Nobles, Barnes and Noble, and I would run to the bridal magazines and I'd read those. So whenever it came time to decide what I wanted to do early as sixth grade, I wanted to be a wedding planner. I went to High Point University and I majored in event management. I then later on got certified through the Bridal Society, and I am a certified wedding planner and wedding design planner. Um, I've worked with all types of events, corporate, nonprofit, um, hotel, and different venues, and of course, my favorite with Ashley and doing weddings, <laughs> and yeah, that's basically it. Wonderful. Your Mass and I are a great team. We have done many weddings together over the last few years. Um, and Mass and I had met um, back in 2017. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, where she was hired from a family friend to help with planning because she was really interested in planning. And we connected. She helped with an outdoor full planning setup in the middle of August. It was warm. It was toasty. There was probably about, I think, 200 people there. We were managing caterers, backyard planning, tents, tables, chairs. Uh, it was just wild. And it was fun. So Madison and I have worked together for many years. And she is now a part of Encore Event Design, AB Occasion Design, and her and I will be on site if you hire us for your planning. So we hope you do. <laughs> um, so today we just wanted to talk a little bit about why hire a wedding planner? What are some of our favorite th things that we have done? Wedding planning at events, um, some tips, some information that we just want to share with you all to kind of get you excited about possibly looking into and investing in a wedding planner. And it doesn't have to be for weddings. It could be, we've done graduation parties. Uh, Madison has a graduation party coming up this weekend that she'll be doing. We have done first birthdays, baby showers, um, vow renewals, sweet 16s, 30th birthday parties. So it just doesn't have to be weddings. I think when a lot of people think about wedding planning. Um, it's just wedding planning. But when you hire a planner, we can do anything from decor, vendors, set up, tear down, pretty much anything. Um, so in regards to that, Madison, can you tell us a little bit about some of your favorite things? Um, just some of your favorite, why do you enjoy being a wedding planner working in events? Mm -hmm. Well, I think I don't take it very lightly whenever somebody chooses to hire us because I know how intimate and special this one of, you know, one, what's the right word? Um, like the event, the day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the day of event is so important to this person. So, I mean, doing a good job is so important to us, but um, sorry, what was the question? The favorite thing, like, so just why you enjoy, you know, working with couples or mm -hmm. clients. I think event. just seeing the love there is that day and like that's the prime day that they're so in love I still whenever everything calms down and they're like saying their vows or their first dance or anything I'm still get teary-eyed and chills like it's just so it's so worth it and rewarding right and I think you know hiring a planner is we give you all a peace of mind at your event. Mm -hmm. We handle all of the little details. We handle the setup. We handle the, the tear down. We bring items from the ceremony to the reception. Um, oftentimes there's these little details that couples or clients may forget about that need to be done. And you don't wanna be doing that 
um, mm-hmm. after you walk down the aisle or after the graduation, you know, honoree comes in. Those are the little things that we take care of that are often overlooked. And I think my favorite part about planning events along with, um, you know, just working with the clients and seeing the love and the excitement is just being there to help them have a memorable and stress-free day. Mm-hmm. And it's so like, so rewarding at the end of the day after an event is the couple or the client will come up to us and say, thank you so much. Without you, we couldn't have had such a great day. And to me, like the little things that we do is just makes sense. This is part of our job, but to them, it's very memorable. Um, And I think um, that it's really exciting that couples choose to hire us to be a part of their day and we can transform their event into their dream event and make their memories, you know, Mm -hmm. magical and memorable and everything. Um, Madison, I'm just curious if, uh, if somebody asks you, why should I hire you? What are some of the things that you may say, or, you know, to encourage them to look into a, a, a planner for their event? So I think even if you're like the most hands-on, like do-it-yourself bride, I think even having a day of coordinator is so, I think it'll just take so much pressure off of you and even your mother or the groom's mother, because you have been planning it and you have a certain way in your head how you want things to go. And I think we're there to make sure that everything goes off without a hitch. So I think keeping a big thing is keeping on the timeline and keeping things on track. You don't want your, you or your bridesmaids or anyone trying to get that all in order. Rather, I think it's more important that you have yourself and your family and friends be in the moment of that wedding and truly enjoy it rather than working that wedding. So I think that's where we really come in and we take that stress off and really just, um, make sure everything goes the way you want it. Definitely. And the process with our wedding planning is we sit down and have meetings with you. Once you book us, we talk about your vision. We talk about who you've hired vendor wise, what your locations are, um, what you want to do picture wise. And we develop those timelines for you. And we come in, you know, oftentimes months before your event. Mm -hmm. Um, We've also worked we have a wedding coming up um, in two weeks that they booked just over the last 24 hours. So no matter when you hire us, we work with you to create your custom timeline and we allow your family, friends, bridal party, VIPs, et cetera, to enjoy the day. I can't tell you how many brides I've talked to or couples that say, oh, my my maid of honor is going to do it. But you know, your maid of honor needs to get her hair done just like you do, or your maid of honor is going to be with you and not at the venue. And Oftentimes venues have certain amount of times that you can set up. We're there, you know, right when we're able to get in, we get everything set up, ready to go. So hiring a wedding, um, an event planner is an investment. I think it's, you know, to at least look into um, because it does help alleviate some of, you know, not Mm -hmm. some of them, but it does alleviate the stresses or the little details that are often overlooked or, um, And we just kind of catch it all and finish it. And and I think we make Mm -hmm. a really good team. And um, if I were to get married, I would hire a wedding planner. So I know for sure. No other way. (laughs) Right, right. So I'm like, if I'm getting married, who am I going to hire? So it'll be Madison and Encore Event Design to to bring my wedding. But then I'd want you to be a guest. So we'll have to talk about that. Um, (laughs) um, So Madison and I have worked many, many events and we're continuously learning, you know, every event, I think we learned something new Mm -hmm. to remember for the next time. Um, So we wanted to share with you just some of the things that couples or our clients would have done if we weren't there. Um, One of the big things which I'm learning as we go is at the end of the night, who's cleaning up your tables? You have to get the linens back to the linen company. We have to take the linens, you know, who was cleaning off the tables. If you don't hire somebody to come in and do that, oftentimes the caterers are getting ready to go. Um, They're not there all the way through the night. They clean up dinner, they leave. Um, We are the ones who are working with the caterer to clean up the tables. That's one thing, you know, I think more and more people as they have backyard weddings or um, outside weddings because of COVID is that's one of the details I think that is often overlooked. And at the end of the night, um, the cu- as a couple, um, you don't want to be cleaning up 
glassware or dinnerware <laughs> or cake. <laughs> um, and that's something that we offer in our packages that we could do at the end of the night. Um, is there anything, Madison, from your experience that you've seen that couples may be doing if they are not investing in a wedding planner? Mm -hmm. So I think that's also like that, what you just said is very, like a very good part because you want to keep that stuff and you want to make sure you have that stuff to even like rent out later or hold on to. So we make sure that's all packed up and ready to go for the next day. Mm -hmm. But um, I think just honestly, you don't have a watch on most cases with your wedding dress. So I think honestly, just making sure everything's in order. We make sure all the vendors know what, when and where to be. I mean, sometimes we don't have them in the right places. Mm -hmm. So calling them up and making sure that they're there to get the getting ready pictures. I think that's very important. That's something you don't want to miss out on. Um, I think even keeping you, the, you and your groom or, your partner in uh, and your bridal party on track is so important because yes, it's important to get those certain pictures and have touch-ups and everything. You also want to make sure you're polite to your guests that they're not out there sitting for too long and you have time to dance and do everything you want to do. So I think us making sure you know the right order to walk into to be announced. Those are like very important things I think as a wedding coordinator, we do. Yeah. And I think a lot of times too, which is I, um, is as a couple, you have that grand entrance idea. So if the church doesn't have church ladies or church folks who are helping, who's opening those doors for those big moments, who's cueing you to enter at the right time of your song. Um, you know, all those details that you've envisioned from, you know, a child into meeting your partner, you know, those are the things that we listen to and help develop in the timeline. So I think that's really important is to consider investing in a planner for an event. And it's just not the big events. You know, I've done graduation parties where they were coming from, um, you know, it's in Pittsburgh, but maybe they're coming from, you um, eerie you know so who's going to set up after graduation you don't want to have to leave graduation early so who's going to execute that and I think it's just really and considering the investment I think it's investing in your an event your event and hiring somebody to come in and help and we're your girls I feel as though you know <laughs> we, we treat every event as if it's our own um, I like to say that a wedding specifically is the happiest day of a couple's life and we get to live that with them every time they book mm -hmm. um, and it's just even though it is a 12 hour plus day and we're on our feet with you know dress shoes on <laughs> um it's very fulfilling at the end of the night when we're cleaning up it is a long day but it's it doesn't feel like work for us and i think that's why we're you know in the prof profession that we are in and it's little details that we see and do for you um that we feel as though it's just worth looking into um we offer free consultations um, you can give us a call, you can look us up on um, online. Um, and I think, you know, really couples just considering party, um, people hosting parties, consider hiring an event coordinator, a planner. Um, I, there's one quote that says, it's no longer a luxury, it's a nece or necessity, yeah, <laughs> um, for a, a planner, because it's, it's not just the famous Kardashians hiring wedding planners, you know, it's, um, everyone needs assistance throughout their process, whether it's day of, full planning, partial planning, setup. You know, we travel to do setup. If your venue is not coordinating the setup, you we get all your decor, we set it up for you, we can tear it down for you, and we can really customize packages. Um, all right, so wonderful. Um, Madison, is there anything last minute, you know, details that you want to add in regards to planning or weddings or <laughs> not to put you on the spot? <laughs> um, not that I can think of. I think that's everything. I think it's so, it's so worth your money to, and that's not even me just saying it because it's my career. I think it's so worth the time and energy to put in to get a good wedding coordinator. So yeah. Well, so Madison, I, this is just kind of our little intro for Encore TV this week's segment. But what we would like to do is answer your real life 
wedding event planning questions. You can submit those to AB Occasion Design at EncoreEventDesign.com. And I'll put the little link here in the video when I edit this. <laughs> um, but we would love to hear, I know I, I'll put it up here. <laughs> um, but we would love to hear any of your planning questions, um, any Thing you may need or want to hear us answer. We'll be back in the next couple months with another segment of Ask Your Wedding Planner, but we just wanted to give a quick little intro, introduce some of our um, services, some of our tips and tricks and things to look into when um, considering a wedding and event planner. And we'll be back in a couple weeks, but we would love to meet you, love to talk to you. So please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, Madison and I are working hard every day to plan for our, our brides and couples who are getting married. We have a lot of great, great experiences. We've worked together in many venues in and around Pittsburgh. Butler, we can go out of state, out of Allegheny County. So we would love to meet with you, talk with you, and offer you that complimentary consultation. So we will be back in a couple weeks with the Ask Your Wedding Planner segment. So get those questions in. <laughs> um, thank you so much, Madison, for joining me today. I really thank appreciate you having it. me. Um, and we appreciate you tuning into Encore Event Design, where your event can be brought to reality. We have design, we have balloons, we have planning, we have coordination, we have rentals. We do it all. A one-stop shop for mm -hmm. Pittsburgh and the surrounding areas. So we hope to see you soon. Thank you for tuning into Encore TV. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>